morning all your family, attend from Field Hack Education. In today's coaching video, we'll be looking at a little bit of a short corner variations that you can use with your team. I will only show you four in this video and then the next part will have four again. But with this variations, it's just basic variations that you can use with your team. You as a coach, you can make up your own variations to try and manipulate the penalty corner defense to get more gaps and to try and score. So I hope you can use this video in your training session and in short corner variations for your team. And let's go. If you have not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it. And enjoy the next video. So for the short corner variations part one, variation number one, this is just the normal straight flick, so straight drag flick. So what you want to do as a coach is you obviously want to set up with two castles. So this is castle number one, castle number two, so that you can let the defender start thinking about where this ball is going to go. But if you're just going to set up one castle, they're going to know exactly where to go. So if you put on two, it's just... A little bit of a thinking of the defenders of where this ball will go but for variation number one injector is just going to inject the ball from there to the pusher Pusher's is going to stop and then the drag flicker will pick it up and then flick it towards the goal when that happens after the injector pass the ball this player can run into there, this player can run into there, this player can run into there for in case there's a stop from the keeper or one of the defenders got the ball, can go for a rebound. You always want a player just at the back um, for in case the, the ball bobbles over the pushers, um, uh, the stopper's stick, and then you can just pick it up from there and you can play it from there. But this is... Variation number one, just a normal little straight drag flick. Variation number two that you can use is you'll set up exactly the same um, as always. You as a coach, you want to try and set up every short corner the same. Um, it depends on you as a coach that what type of setup you want, but you need to try and set up every single time the same. But it will start with the injector. Injector will inject it towards the stopper. The stopper will stop and just touch it a little bit into the circle. And then the player over here will just step into it and take a shot. So this will just be a straight shot. They need to try and keep it below the backboard. As soon as it lifts ab above the backboard, that's the first shot. So the umpire will then uh, blow it against them. But try and hit the backboard or get into the corners. Exactly the same. These players can then step in for rebound if the keeper or defenders save it. But this is variation two that you can use. Just a normal straight shot. Variation number three that you can use is flicking off castle two. So what will happen is injector will inject the ball to castle two stopper. They will stop the ball and the drag flicker will then just drag off castle two. The reason why you want to go to castle two is it's probably different angles. The keeper is maybe too strong on this side. So now you can actually flick from here towards the stick side. But if you go to castle two, it opens up different angles to flick from. Exactly the same. This player can run into for rebound, can run into rebound, can run into rebound for when the keeper saves it. But this is variation number three, flick off castle two. Mm -hmm. 
Question number four um, will be zigzag. So you'll set up exactly the same, but the zigzag will start from castle one. You will normally do zigzag if the defenders, the way they're running out is maybe a 2-2. Two -two. So two defenders running up towards where the castles are and the other two is just staying there. And then there's a gap in the middle that you can um, use to manipulate and get closer to the keeper to just flick it in. But how it will work is injector will inject to castle number one's stopper. As soon as that happens, it's either you can decide as a coach, it's either the drag flicker on castle two or the stopper on castle two. It's just going to move towards the middle there. Castle one stopper is going to stop it. And then the drag flicker or hitter or whatever you have here will then pass the ball to this player, whoever it is from this side. We'll pass to them, they will lead towards and they will pass it back to this Castle 1's drag flicker and then from here they can just flick it in. Once again, these players can run into for rebound, but this will be variation number 4, the zigzag. So that was short corner variations part one. I hope you can use these four short corner variations that I just showed you. Please stay tuned for part two so that you can get more variations for your short corners team so that they can score effectively when they get a short corner. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support so far on this channel. I really do appreciate it. And see you next time. Bye bye.